Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hope you're all well. I'm not sure whether this video will actually work because whenever I do videos stood here and I go back, they're not there. So, um, hypermobility, EDS awareness month, seven days. I was born in Portsmouth, 17th of May. I live here. I hate it getting the fuck out of there so anyway it's a little bit raining I'm still getting on with what I was going to do but the challenge is the whole point of me doing this the whole point of me doing this was to change it all the way around to make it so the boys could play down here and be able to play during the summer with the you know local community blah 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 and I would have a little space to be able to sit and chill and get things done get projects done and um that's all good. So not quite sure what to do from there. However, it is EDS Awareness Month. And this is part of it. Because my body is not there yet this morning. I've still got, I've still got funny hands, I've still got funny knees, still very achy. Um, still what I call very, just need to crack. And it's not very easy to do things like this. So when I do it at my own pace and things like that, um, people should understand that. So anyway, I'm going to be still carrying on today. I'm going to be sitting here and emailing them and using this as an open that I've just had enough of how people just don't give a shit. <laughs> like, really just don't give a shit. They, they, they couldn't give a flying fuck to even think whether somebody would physically be able to move something or not. And people are just expected to either struggle not do things, beg people for help, have to turn to the services, and then once you turn to the services, it's not as easy as you think for basic understanding of help. You, you, you don't think that the council have a, a community of people that might help a little old woman move a sofa to hoover underneath it, and health and safety wouldn't allow for them to hoover under the sofa because they wouldn't be allowed to move it. So it's like, so how do people get basic fucking normal little bit of help? So say I actually was doing nothing wrong, as I am now, and all of a sudden it was pissing it down. And my neighbours all saw me and they wanted to actually help. So maybe someone goes, oh, okay, okay that woman's got EDS, I'm going to give her a hand. Doesn't work like that. Doesn't work like that. And it shouldn't be a challenge like that. Now, there is the greatest, greatest, greatest EDS message that I put out yesterday about the mental health side of EDS. And it's all about being believed. It's all about being believed basically so that's it so anyway i'm carrying on um i've still got to get rid of the stuff that i know i've got to get rid of i've still got to move the stuff that i know i've got to move and get up there but now i'm stuck again because now i expect my car to come back here when i was finished which wouldn't actually have taken me long with the right correct and right support um so yeah see how it goes